everyone for coming down tonight. We're very, very excited to be here in Jordan and to be sitting in the Serial Killer Cafe here. It's very, very exciting for us. Um, it was August 2013 that we came up with the idea to start this business. We were hungover one day in London. We went out for, for, um, for lunch and we thought, oh, I would just love to eat a bowl of cereal. It would just be, it would be wet, it would be solid, it would be sugary, it would cure my hangover. And that was our real light bulb moment. Yeah, so then that's when we Googled cereal. Well, there like, almost exists cereal cafe in London, didn't exist. Cereal cafe in UK, didn't exist. Cereal cafe in Europe. There just wasn't anything there, so that's what we thought. Well, we're going to have to create this because if we wanted to go to it so bad, then somebody else is bound to want to go to it. So we started off and we thought, oh, we yeah, well, we we can have, you know, we'll have cereals from America, we'll have cereals from, you know, all over the world. And they grew from 60 cereals. Now we we stocked probably around 100 cereals from all over the place. Um, We've got, you know, loads of different toppings, loads of different milks. But we always thought we wanted to give it like a 90s feel. Because one of my memories of cereal was I remember whenever I was about 10 years old, we used to get taken to the supermarket and our mum used to leave us in the cereal aisle while she went around the rest of the shop and told us you're like one box of cereal to do the entire week. So we were there in the cereal aisle and we spent hours just looking at them, deciding which cereal we wanted. So we just wanted to bring people back to the 90s where the cereal was really in its heyday. Yeah, when we were at, like in that cereal line as well, choosing those cereals, we would never we would never share. We would always have to buy a separate cereal each because we had to get a separate toy each so there was no fights over it. <laughs> um, but when it came down to the uh, the design of the cafe, we wanted to have we wanted to take everybody back to their childhood. We want people to look at things like, yeah, these are all cereals that were made years ago. We wanted people to look at things and go, oh, I remember WWF, oh, I remember this. And, you know, same beds and just feeling like a kid again, really. Um, so we opened our, we opened in Brick Lane in December 2014, correct? Yes, yeah, that's right. So just over two years ago, and it's been absolutely crazy since. And I think even when we opened that cafe back then, to think that we would be sitting in Jordan in a Sierra Color Cafe, it would have been completely unbelievable. So this for us is just like a huge dream come true to, to know that the brand has just got so big that we're now here in the Middle East. It's amazing. Um, so we opened one cafe in December 2014, and then six months later we opened another cafe in Camden. Um, so then we had two cafes, and then a few months later we released the cookbook, which again I never thought, I think if anybody in our school had asked, who in this class will be least likely to write a book? Would have definitely us too. So it's pretty good that we uh, got that under our belt now. Um, then we opened um, a Birmingham store. We opened that last year. Um, so that's three stores we had in the UK. And then this year so far, we've opened in Kuwait, Dubai, and now Jordan. So it's been a crazy few months, but it's been very, very exciting. Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> And we're twins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We get them. Yeah.